Hi YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a combination lanyard. These are a few examples of combination lanyards that I have. Uh, I came up with this a while ago. I just, I was making a, a box stitch lanyard and I ended up changing the direction of my strings. So I got like a variation in the types of stitches and I thought it was pretty cool. So I'm going to show you how to make one. So the first thing you're going to need to do is start off with a box stitch. If you don't know how to make a box stitch, you can go check out my first video and it'll show you how to do it. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take one of your strings, it doesn't matter which one, and what I'm going to do is make a twist, like a spiral. So I'm going to take this pink string and instead of making it go like a box, like parallel, I'm going to make it go across like this. Like that. And then I'm going to take this one and make it go across here. And then just take your other strings and just put them through like you would for any regular lanyard. Like that. And you can see that it's kind of like a diamond shape. It's like comparison to the other stitch in the bottom. So, and then pull like that. And you can see that it has a rounded edge so you can tell that's going to start making the spiral. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Put this one diagonally across. And you want to st stay with the same color. So I chose pink, so I'm going to stay with pink. And I'm going to put it through. And put it through. And then pull. And then again. In and then pull. So you can see that it's starting to twist. So you're going to keep doing that. I, I would suggest starting off with the box stitch and then do at least like as many as you want, but then keep it consistent. So when you move on to your next stitch, do the same amount of that stitch as you did with the previous one so it looks nice and even. So you're going to keep doing that. And if you want variation you can then switch back to a box stitch so just diagonally like parallel like that So you can just keep doing that. See how that's a box stitch now. You can. It doesn't matter how you do it. You can alternate like this. I did different like us uh, uh, positions of the box stitch, so it got it became like this. This I did like a spiral mixed into it. This one has it's just like box and then spiral at the top. So there's many variations you can do for this. So thanks YouTube for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos and comment for any video suggestions.